Hey, welcome back guys. It is uh, Chan Man's video. It's been a long, long time since we've made anything, uh, you know, like a substantial video. I fired up a brief video uh, a couple months ago when I saw that eHobby was reissuing uh, several old um, Advance of Zeta kits. And uh, that was the last thing I've done. So I thought, you know what, I just finished building this guy which is the Gundam Dynamis Arm Arms you see here and uh, here's just a some instruction manual it's pretty cool it's a really old kit I've had it sitting around for quite some time and finally decided to uh, to build it, it actually left I I started it at the beginning of 2020 and uh, was struggling with motivation to build things and do stuff and decided finally you know what I've been watching a lot of youtubers build uh, and thought I you know I'm gonna finish it so uh, I did struggle with uh, laziness and uh, and stuff where I just I don't know why I'm just lacking motivation I need I just realized looking at it I didn't even finish cleaning the uh, panel lining liquid so I got to clean that off later but uh, I wanted just to make this video because I've, uh, in the past, people were asking, hey man, I want to see what it's like, I want to see what it looks like when it's done. And uh, yeah, here it is. It's finally finished. Uh, it's it's a fun kit to build in the sense that it's totally different from uh, a lot of the kits that I've built recently. Uh, I, I, I basically paused Gundam and was building Dragon Ball figures. And what I'm going to do is I'll show you that, but I'm going to grab my original Dynamis. Uh, Dynamis, Dynamis, uh, whatever people want to pronounce it. And if you want to correct me and send me a message, please don't. Um, that's one of the reasons why I stopped making videos because there are viewers out there who uh, comment, you know, they, they think their English is better or, or whatever, and I kind of got sick of reading those. I do this for fun. I don't want to hear um, your negativity. I don't make any money from this, so when I get it, I just delete it because, like, who the heck do you think you are? Uh, there's uh, American English, North American English, and then there's English English. So if I say, you know, some people say Barbados, some people say Barbatos, it doesn't matter. Just chill out. But anyways, uh, Gundam Dynamis, Dynamis, uh, this is the 2000, oh, when was this issued? 2014. And uh, right there, made in Bandai 2014. And let me just grab the original. <laughs> and, and it's just really, really dusty, I guess. It's just been sitting on a shelf. So, um, yeah, essentially the mobile suit itself is identical to the original release of Gundam Dynamis. And uh, what really makes the difference is not only just the color, um, but there's one rear skirt piece which allows you to attach the additional uh, four arms and two shoulder pieces which allow you to attach the arms that you see there with the swords. So I'll take that apart and I'll show you guys uh, what I mean. And uh, if you were wondering at this point uh, whether or not you can recreate it, you, pu you can, however, uh, it, it's that little piece at the end which you cannot buy, which is the, the problem. So I'm just going to pause again and I'll show you the difference. Okay, so now that we've got him here, and this stand kind of sucks. This piece here that attaches onto the back, this is the key piece that's vital to um, the, the Dynamis arm arms. Um, Looking at this, when I originally started building it, I was assuming that these arms were the same arms as the Build Divers, uh, what is that called? Powered Arm Arms. I thought it was this one because You look at all those different sections there that allow it to fold and fold. Uh, I thought that that's what it was, but upon closer inspection, you're going to see here that there actually is no 
design, right? Do you see how they have grooves, panel lines, and markings there? This is just one clear flat piece. And it's the one that you get with the Power GM cardigan. So you look at them, visually, there's less detail. So there, they are different pieces. Uh, these are more rectangular and those are rounded. Um, there is a set that I, I don't own. I believe it's called the Baldwin Arm Arms. I don't know if those are the same as these or if they're different, but um, yeah. But, sorry, having said that, they, they do work similarly. So if you want to try to mop your own uh, using this powered arm arms, you definitely uh, can definitely try. Another thing I realized as I was building it is um, this, I guess it's a laser bazooka and these two mini guns on the top, they, as well as these swords, Bandai came out with uh, little freebies, the customized campaign in 2018. And you could get that mini gun, which is this one up here. You can get this mini gun with the F set, which is this one here, the bazooka right there. Uh, I don't, I didn't get the sets from this customized campaign for the swords. However, I do know they are, uh, they were available and I believe the bazooka down here is available as well. And is this rifle. So as far as I can, as far as I know and from what I've seen, all of the additional weapons on the kit were made available. Uh, with these with this 2018 customized campaign. I got these all for free um, When I was because I bought a lot of uh, kits from my local retailer and he just gave them to me for free He actually sold them too. So but I got them free um, So definitely you if you can go on eBay and stuff you can definitely find all the weapons combine it with the HG power armed and you should be able to recreate it. Uh, but like I said, this is the piece here that you're gonna need. I'm gonna take everything off and show you guys, get you guys a better look at it. Articulation wise, it's not great. Uh, it's very back heavy, which is why I had to put it on the stand. Um, however, yeah, it's, it's, whoops. Using my phone, sorry. Um, so it's hard to control. Uh, it, but it's the same as the original Dynamis. So just take this off. So on the arm, there's this one connector here, which plugs in, as you saw earlier, plugs in here to the side. And this is what attaches this folding arm. And then, of course, uh, there is a folding gimmick so you can store the sword upward or downward if you wish. Uh, I don't know what the purpose of this is. You can remove the swords uh, and he can hold it in his, in his hands. This main shield just connects to the front and I don't know I think it connects on the side if you want. Yeah it can. So if you want to store it on the side, it can totally be stored that way. Because of the uneven weight, um, yeah, it, you, you definitely need to display it on a stand. This just slides up. And I'm just gonna remove this arm here. And remove this arm down here. Okay. This can go up and down slightly. And if you're wondering about the GN drives that were in the back, they do not and cannot be attached. It does come with a gray GN drive, just like the original Dynamis does. However, uh, it does not fit anywhere. So you basically replace the GN drives with this piece here. 
And let me see if I can zoom in and get you guys a better look at what that piece looks like. Whoa, sorry. And you can definitely try to make one uh, with plot plot boards and stuff like that. But just to give you an idea, that's the piece that you are going to need, which allows you to attach uh, the arms and the additional weapons. Oh crap, I didn't even clean this on the back. Yeesh. See, laziness and uh, lack of motivation definitely impacts one's uh, <laughs> end result of a kit. Um, I really, I do really like the color scheme. I didn't uh, do much coloring or painting other than inside the chest piece there and the uh, eye camera. I did not use the sticker. But uh, everything else is just stock with panel lining. Um, oh, sorry, and I used uh, rubber black on the guns. But uh, again, these, these guns do come from the 2018 campaign, if you can find them. And uh, that's it. The articulation, uh, because it's an old kit, it's very limited. It's very, very tight. This kit was very tight on the arms. I can't even pull the hands out of the forearms here. Uh, what else? What did I have to do? Oh, I did have to tighten up um, the joint in here. Uh, it is just a C peg, so it's uh, just an open C when you snap it in. That was very, very loose uh, right off the bat, as was the head. Uh, so I did have to put clear nail polish uh, on the knob <laughs> uh, where the the head goes in and that's really strengthened it up other than that the articulation is just the same as the original release of the hg uh dynamis uh, i don't i i don't even know if you can find this on ebay i looked around uh, i bought it in 2000 i can't even remember when i bought it 2016 maybe 16 or 17 uh, i bought it in hong kong and it is from a special set of three kits. I have made videos of the unboxings online uh, and posted them, but uh, you can get this kit, uh, the Easy 8 as well as a white Akatsuki. Um, <clears throat> again, these kits were released in 2014, so that was before, um, I think it's called the Easy SR team was made where they had like all the accessories put together. But uh, I hope to be building some more. Um, yeah, sorry, it's just it's been a weird vi video. It's I haven't made a video in a long time, so I guess feeling really rusty. And I hope you guys just enjoyed it. If you have any questions about the kit, please feel free to ask questions about the kit. I will do my best to answer them. Uh, I'm sorry I got a little grumpy earlier about. Uh, getting people's comments about correcting how I pronounce my, whether it's decal or decal, dynamis, dynamis, barbados, barbatos. Yeah, I, seriously, it's, it's English. <laughs> there is no perfect English, uh, especially if you are in different countries, tomato, tomato, potato, potato. But yeah, sometimes uh, I just get sick and tired of reading those. Um, where people are just emailing me go or, or commenting, oh, this is not how you pronounce it or whatever. Uh, doesn't matter, man. It just, it's a word. You can pronounce it one way and I'll pronounce it another. Um, but yeah, if, but at the same time, if you have constructive feedback, if you think uh, there's something that I can do to improve my videos that are really, like I said, I'm really rusty. and uh, I definitely want to get back to posting videos again. But um, yeah, like, Constructive feedback, I'm, I'm all for. People have given me feedback about my mic quality. Some people give me feedback about video quality. I bought a new camera. I stopped opening the plastic bags on camera because that was really loud. Hey, thanks for letting me know because that way uh, I can definitely make adjustments. But um, yeah, just be nice about it. Uh, this, <laughs> this stand is kind of weird. It's really loose. But I uh, hope you guys like this kit and uh, like the video uh, i i want to make some more videos again i actually paused because of covid19 where i was building my kits and stuff uh basically the tables and my desk i had to give to my kids because of uh, homeschooling uh with that said now i do hope to uh this is just a quick setup in my basement and uh, i really plan to build some more and uh, get back to make some more videos just have some fun again anyways 
forgive me if I was being grumpy and rambling on. Uh, thank you for watching the video. Appreciate it. Hope to see you guys real soon.